Hello, welcome to chapter 12, part 1, Bootstrap Responsive Utility Classes, brought to you by Ang Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what do you mean by Bootstrap Responsive Utility Classes. Right now, let us understand that. Bootstrap Responsive Utility Classes are useful for showing and adding the content based on the different, different devices. In the sense, in our web page, if you want to add some content or show some content, okay based on the different devices okay in the sense based on the web page open in different devices then we have to use the bootstrap responsibility classes to do that work okay and here is a list of uh, bootstrap responsibility classes available that is visible access visible sm visible md visible lg similarly hidden access hidden sm hidden md and hidden lg your access stands for extra small sm stands for small md stands for medium and lg stands for large right now uh, let us understand this Bootstrap responsive utility classes and their usage when we start coding in Visual Studio. Right now, let me jump into Visual Studio and let me start coding and let me see the advantage of using the Bootstrap responsive utility classes. To understand it very clearly, what I'll do is let me create a due element and let me take another due element just to follow the Bootstrap grid system rules. Let me add class container and to that, let me add a class row. Okay, inside this, let me create a due and to that you let me add a class called call large 3 now what I'll do is let me copy paste in the sense in my first row I want four columns so I'm doing this work okay in the sense bootstrap grid system is going to produce 12 columns and I'm going to divide that 12 columns into four parts okay how can I divide three fours are 12 so I'm taking like three columns each I'll get four parts now let me add some content here content it's the sense something like do and pro training okay to this do let me add a class the class is I want to write some custom styles to the sang pro training such that it will be uh, visible good on the web page to do add a custom style let me add a style sheet okay let me name it as demo and let me write the custom styles here my class name is CSS class name is custom sorry customize okay, okay here is my class okay customize let me add, write some styles here like margin 3 pixel let me add a padding of uh, 10 pixel and let me set the height minimum height of that column to be of 300 pixel and let me add a background color since I'm a bootstrap lover I love to add blue color to it as a background blue and margin padding minimum height background color um, then me add a font family let me take a cursive let me take the font size to be of some 30 pixel and text align at the center let me add this custom style sheet to my web page drag and drop done I want to call that class the class name is customize okay let me copy and paste this to the other columns also let me scroll it down Okay, now I'm done with this when I push this page to the browser let me see how it renders okay in a row we'll be having four parts like four columns and each column is spanning three columns in it let us see how it looks there okay it's built has succeeded now it's ready to push this page to the browser and that's what happening now you can observe we'll get a four columns here yeah that's what we expected let me change the color of the text since it's a background color dark and the text is also dark color let me go back to my custom styles and let me change there I'll add the color of the text to the light color white let me come back and let me refresh okay let me come back here to the web browser and let me refresh okay the color change to white and this looks good right okay what did I do right now right now I've changed something like okay in my first row this row I want a four equal columns so what I've done is I've made use of the bootstrap grid system it provides us 12 columns and I have divided that 12 columns into four parts okay each part having three columns in it done okay now what I have to do is when I reduce this 
the screen size to medium okay it should show only three columns on it currently it is on large screen it is showing four columns but when i reduce it into um, medium screens okay it should show th only three columns in a row and similarly if i reduce it into small screen it has to st it has to show two columns and uh, defaultly on the extra small screen it should show only one column in a row how do I achieve that it's very simple let me come here and let me specify something like call MD4 okay let me copy and paste to all the columns present here control s let me come back here and let me press F5 now you observe on the large screen okay in, a, in this row we have four columns but as I specified there call MD4 what happens here when I reduce it into medium screen I'll be getting only three columns in a row you can observe this comes down the other column which was present earlier this was present next to it it came down because I specified like on the medium screens I want only three columns in a row similarly the next next task is I want only two columns in a row how do I achieve that that can be achieved very easily it's very simple we have to specify a bootstrap grid class telling like call SM six call sm six this is how I achieve it let me come back here let me press f5 now you can observe on the last screen we have four columns similarly now when I reduce it to medium screen I'm having three columns similarly now you have to observe on the medium screen on the small screen we'll get only two columns in a row because we are specified we have specified in a code that we need only two columns in a row by using the bootstrap grid class column call sm6 okay okay that's what we achieved right now but if I but instead of doing like this what I have to do is okay on the last screen I want all the columns to be visible but immediately when I reduce this it to medium screen I don't want this column to be visible I want to hide this column okay how to do that it's very simple that's what we are learning now in order to hide the content we have to make use of these bootstrap responsive utility classes okay we have something like visible access visible sm visible md and visible lg okay now what i have to how do i make use of these classes present here first let me show you this hidden access hidden sm hidden md and hidden large okay now what i'll do is i'll change little bit of content present here instead of writing anchor protein let me write like visible only on large device okay coming to this it will be visible on large and medium device okay and coming your it should be visible on large medium medium and small devices okay and this should be visible on all devices okay now let me come back to my browser and let me refresh you can observe here this column should be visible only on large devices and this should be visible only on large and medium devices and this should be visible on large medium and small devices and this should be visible on all devices okay currently when I this is on large device so it is visible on large device but when I minimize this 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 due it, this column should disappear because it should be visible only on large device currently the screen is of me medium size okay this should disappear how do I do that that can be achieved by bootstrap responsive utility classes what I have to do is I have to make use of this hidden hidden classes present here excess small MD or large okay what I'll what I'll do right now is I'll come back here to this my code and I'll specify like this visible on large device this should be visible okay now let me show you first the usage of all these classes visible access SM MD and large okay then I'll show you the advantage of these uh, but keep in mind both both of us does, does the same work okay I'll tell you the difference later but let me make use of this first visible classes present here what I'm trying what I'm trying to do here is okay in the sense this column should be visible only on the large device so what I'll do is I'll come to this column and I'll specify like visible large 
in the sense this column okay is going to be visible only on the large device okay L now let us cross verify that let me refresh this page now you can observe this is on the large device and this division is visible this column is visible but when I minimize this you can observe the due okay that column disappeared because we have specified that bootstrap responsibility class is telling like that column should be visible only on large devices so now it got disappeared okay now let us achieve the second part in the sense this one it should be visible on large and medium device okay it should be visible on large as well as medium device but when it comes to small device this should get disabled disappeared how to do that come to this part then specify like it should be visible on large as well as this should be visible on this should be visible on uh, medium sorry this should be visible on medium okay now when I come back and let me press F5 keep in mind this will disappear when as soon as it comes to medium device and this this one is applicable on large device this one is applicable on large device as well as medium device but when it comes to small screen it disappears you can observe it now it's on large device first one disappeared and this will disappear immediately when it reaches the small screen you can observe here and our next job is I want to make it disappear when it reaches the small screen extra small screen how do I do that it's very simple come here and specify like this should be visible on large screen visible visible on medium screens visible visible on small screens okay and now let me come here and let me start refreshing this page now you can observe this will disappear as soon as it reaches the medium screen and this will disappear as soon as it reaches on the small screen and this due is going to disappear as soon as it reaches the extra small screen you can observe here we have only this column telling like this is visible on all devices got it and that's what the advantage of using the bootstrap responsibility classes okay we learned like visible access ASM MD and large now we can make use of these also in a sense what we did here we are telling like this column should be visible on large instead of that we can tell like this column should be hidden on extra small small and medium vice versa that, that's all the keep in mind both of these classes visible and hidden that's the same work but the way of we we represent our code is different that's all okay now you can observe here instead of writing like visible LG we are telling like visible on only large device we can tell it in other manner also like uh, we should make it hidden on hidden on medium hidden on small and hidden on extra small okay this works the same you can observe here now when I come back here control S and when I come back to my page and let me start refreshing you can observe here this works as earlier it work earlier it was working in the sense this is visible only on large devices you can observe but the way we represent our code is different both does the both the visible and hidden classes does the same work okay I hope you understood now let me change this also okay instead of telling like visible on large and medium we have to tell like hidden on hidden on small And extra small now let me come back and let me refresh you can observe this this column I'm right showing now this will disappear as soon as it reaches the medium screen and this dish will disappear as soon as it reaches the small screen okay got it and that's what the advantage of using these bootstrap responsibility classes and similarly for this also what we have to specify is it should be hidden on hidden on extra small okay now let me come back control F5 again it disappears this also disappears and this should disappear as soon as it reaches the extra small screen you can observe here only this column is appearing and it will be visible on all devices okay now what we learned is we learned how to hide the content okay using these bootstrap responsibility classes and we also learned like what is visible and hidden classes both works in the same manner but the way we represent the code is different here that's all okay instead of hidden excess what we have to specify is visible on small mg md and large 
that's what we have to specify okay now what we learned in the session is we learned how to add a content and show the content and we also saw a demo and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel ankpro training and you can also like our facebook page visiting these urls and we are also on twitter and for further reference you can visit these websites our websites and we are on also linkedin too and last but not least don't forget to give the feedback thank you